So the way you manage checkpoint firewalls is to use the smart console. Smart console is limited to Windows only. Sadly, it doesn't work for Linux. It doesn't work for Mac. So checkpoint has introduced a new option and it's the web smart console. It doesn't have the same features. And this is something that is auto updatable on your mouse station. And the smart console you can reach by going to your management station IP address and then slash smart console. And you should be able to log in. And you will not be able to log in on the console and uh, the, um, the web smart console at the same time. It doesn't have all the features, but to make sure that it has most features, you need to make sure that it's updated. I don't know if you can see what version it is uh, within here. I haven't found it so far. So to see what version you actually have on the smart console in the or the web smart console is to go into CLI and then type CP info Y all and it will be listed uh, as a web smart console hotfix. This is updatable automatically if you have internet and if you have a contract. So here we see that the current build for web smart console is 104. So if we go into the SK or the web smart console 170314, we see that the latest take is 118. Um, we can update this manually with CLI or it's updated automatically. So if you want to see the different um, news within the different takes, it's listed within this SK as well. So our uh, version is from May uh, 2014, and there are a few new things that maybe is good. So let's update this. So this is the instruction for actually updating it. So more or less, it says copy the offline packet, meaning download it first. Copy to the management station and then run the command and um, check the log file to see if it's updated. So let's do that. So to download the latest version, you just take this uh, TGZ file and click on it. I believe that you need to be signed in to Shakeman's website to download this, uh, as I am currently. And then you will be able to download it. It's only 41 megs. So let's do that. And I already downloaded it. So the next step would be to open um, WinSCP or similar program and log into your management station, SCP. And I get an error prompt saying that I need to be in bash. So when we logged in at the first time here, we were in Clish and needed to go into expert. And to fix this, we need to change our user prompt that the first login to bash. Um, you can do this in multiple ways, but I think the easiest way is just to, to type a command here. So that will be set user and then the username admin uh, shell bin bash uh, enter of log database override. It's strange. I, I always get that one, but yeah. So now I have changed it to bin bash and we do continue, reconnect. And now we are in the home folder, so home admin. And here we have the latest uh, web console upload. So now it's uploaded. So if I go into expert, I'll shut this down. Uh, I see that I'm in the same folder. And if I do ls here, I see that I have the TGZ file. So that's good. To install this, we just need to follow the guide. So I will take the seal icon or the, um, the clish command. So that would be this and then the full path. So that's home admin and then the file and enter. Apparently not. Ah. <laughs> This is actually an expert command. So this is uh, not in Clish. So let's take this. Copy paste. 
install a request of component web console version blah 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 see status okay so we need to check the status for it okay so i guess we can do more is this a file yeah it's a file uh so if we go furthest down what did it say uh, um here it says that it's out it says that it's succeeded and in installed so that's good and this is today's date 24th of august and i guess we see the same in cp info i hope so at least so here we have 180 so now this is updated and it has been updated application to reload okay good so we need to log in again and if checkpoint is checking on this one just put an about here so you can see what current version it is it's much easier so i think that's it for this video thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one take care bye